Hello, tonight we read from Genesis 26. No, we did not. Minus two. Hey. And um, Proverbs 23 minus two. <laughs> Testing your math skills. <laughs> and um, starting off in Proverbs, I was listening to this station today while I was cutting my dad's hair. Just want to say, if any young men need a haircut, I am uh, available. <laughs> anyway. Or older men. Yeah, well, I just wanted to say young men, just because older men want to make, make them feel good or whatever. Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, I liked, I was listening to the radio, mm -hmm. and it's the only other time I've, I've noticed someone do this. The radio station read Proverbs 21, the whole chapter, and they read it because it was December 21st. Like, I've only known you to do that, so that's pretty cool. And they read the whole chapter, whatever. What? Yeah, 90.5. Um, and when I heard it, I liked the 17th verse. Hmm. Um, yeah. I probably talked about this before. Go ahead. It's just it's just talking about like the pleasures and how it makes for a. a well, keep reading. Just read it. Well, this one says, "He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich." Yeah, I like that <clears throat> because right now uh, it's so easy to. Focus on like pleasures of life. Uh, with uh, when you're always in in, in the house, like you always like, oh, what can I do to yeah, like make myself feel good right now, whatever. Right. Because you're really not doing much else. I mean, you might be, but you know, when you're just sitting at home, it's so might be easy to I don't know, stumble on something new or some new drug or some new website you shouldn't be on, and. It was like devil, idle hands, the devil's, devil's handy hand. Workshop. Workshop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the truth. And, um, yeah, and they, and they specifically said he who does that because it's much more reliant. Well, women are very, you know, very important in society. They are, they are like, you know, so much happiness inside their body. You know, they can create a human life. What I'm saying, men specifically because they're meant to be like the providers. And if... You are like from a young age. You continue to live your life just seeking pleasures. Then you won't be a true man at all, and you'll just be one who is uh, looking for the next way to release some dopamine in your in your brain or whatever. And that's not what a man does. And um, yeah, I just like that scripture. It really motivated me. That's excellent, Timotheus. And the remedy for that is verse five: the thoughts of the diligent. Not negligent, not slowful, but diligent, tend only to plenteousness. You know, but of everyone that's hasty, like, oh, I've been all, you know, chilling out. And then, you know, I want to, you know, get some type of return. No, be diligent in the front end and the middle and the end. And that brings us to Genesis 24. When you are diligent, when you have prepared yourself when you're not just laying around being slowful, then you will see that when it's the time comes for you to look for a wife, you'll be ready. You'll be set. You will be able to do what Abraham's people were able to do for Isaac, right? When they saw Rebecca, when Abraham's servants saw Rebecca, they were able to give her gifts. Right, the bracelets and the earring and um, some other stuff, and and the servant was like, "Yeah, Isaac is set up. You know, he has the cattle, the gold, the silver. So you want to be able to prepare yourself so that you can offer something to that fortunate young lady one day." What did you get from Genesis twenty four? Wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah. In preparation for a family. And you will see that Rebecca had a brother, Laban, and he checked out the whole situation. And everything was blessed. And it says the 
servants said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who have not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I being in the way the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren. And that's where he saw, like I said, Rebecca's family. The Lord will lead you to the place as far as where your fiance and wife will reside and where her family resides and everything is going to fall in place don't get the advice from you know the friends or this or that or that but the lord will lead you very clearly things are going to fall in place and you're going to have peace because you have prepared yourself you're diligent and the blessings of the lord make it rich and add no sorrow so great things in store for you all right all right. Have a wonderful evening preparing for the goodness of the Lord always. Good night.